I know what you're thinking. Haven't I already seen this video from you about 27 consecutive times? Well, yes, yes you have. But they're still really cool, honestly. There's something about cute, deadly animals that really just gets my blood pumping. So please look, but never ever touch. That is if you don't want to prematurely meet your maker. From a cute but deadly mammal to an extremely deadly fish that is not a shark, here are 10 of the deadliest animals you should never touch. Number 10. The Slow Loris. Those beautiful eyes will make you fall in love with the Slow Loris. They're a kind of nocturnal animal found in Southeast Asia and nearby regions, but don't let their big round eyes and soft fur fool you. They are one of the most venomous mammals in the world. The slow loris excretes a special type of venom from its elbows, and this venom, when mixed with the loris' saliva, becomes a highly toxic concoction. It's even more dangerous when it gets introduced into the bloodstream. When threatened, the slow loris takes a mouthful of its own toxin, then proceeds to bite its attacker. And when it bites, it's usually game over for the victim. Poison notwithstanding, there are a lot of people who keep them as pets, feeding a huge demand for them in the pet black market. They're hunted and then put in inhuman conditions, so naturally they're a little torqued off. To avoid the poison its bites, though, some people remove their teeth. The thing is, getting rid of the teeth is not a way to get rid of completely from the poisonous effects. Speaking of effects, they can cause anaphylactic shock in humans, which is, needless to say, not a good thing. Number 9. The Fire Salamander the fire salamander is an amphibian mostly found in European countries. They're famous for their superb black and yellow coloration, although some specimens also have shades of red and orange. They can live up to 50 years, and all these characteristics make people think that they're awesome pets to have. In fact, there are already people who do have them as pets. The thing is, taking in this creature as a pet is equivalent to petting an angry diamondback rattlesnake under its chin, and also calling it stupid names. The skin of this animal is covered with a toxin which it secretes from glands located just under the skin. This toxin is extremely toxic, and when ingested, it attacks the victim's central nervous system directly and can cause a variety of problems, which includes uncontrollable muscle convulsions and hypertension. It was to say, the toxin is extremely harmful to humans. In the animal kingdom, bright coloration usually is a sign of danger, and this fact can't be true enough for this dangerous amphibian. Number 8. The Wolverine. If you didn't know what the actual creature of the Wolverine was instead of the Marvel character, I bet you'd be tempted to pick it up or cuddle with it when you see it. They're found in large numbers in northern Canada and Alaska. Although these fuzzy animals look like teddy bears, they're nowhere near as cute as they look. In fact, they're very strong and also very aggressive carnivores with a vice-like bite and impossibly sharp claws. Like again, the Marvel character. They're capable and happy to attack animals larger than itself, and yes, this also includes humans. Their jaws and sharp claws make them more than a match for any creature. They prey on a vast array of animals ranging from small squirrels and rabbits to moose and even elk. And of course, again, they're gonna attack humans if they get provoked. There are several documented cases where these animals were taken in as pets only to attack their owners later on, even though they were reared by humans since they were cubs. Truly, you can take an animal out of the wild, but you can never truly eliminate the wild out of an animal. Number 7. The Black-Footed Cat Native to the grasslands of Southern Africa, the black-footed cat has an endearingly round face and a light brown, black-spotted body that is small even compared to domestic cats. The wild feline measures only 14 to 20 inches long, stands about 8 inches tall, and weighs about 2 to 6 pounds. Admittedly, those measurements don't sound very impressive when compared to the sizable big cats that are among the world's most fearsome predators, but despite its small size, the black-footed cat hunts and brings down more prey in a single night than a leopard does in six months. One small black-footed cat can consume 3,000 rodents each year. They've also been known to eat dead springbok lambs, although they don't actually kill them. Large males can take adult cave hair, which weigh approximately the same as the cat. They've also been observed eating eggs, crushing them gently between their jaws, and then licking the contents clean. Number 6. The Indian Red Scorpion The Indian Red Scorpion is considered to be one of the most lethal scorpions in the world. It's not that big though, only ranging from about 2 to 3.5 inches in length. However, don't let its size fool you. It still packs quite a punch. Also, despite its name, it's not really that red. It actually ranges in color from bright reddish orange to dull brown, and the species has distinctive dark gray ridges and granulation. Their pincers are relatively smaller compared to other scorpions, but they have really thick tails and a very large stinger. 
Despite their potent venom though, Indian red scorpions are kept as pets. They're also kept and bred in captivity for medical research. Scorpion toxins include potassium channel blocking peptides, which may have used as immunosuppressants for autoimmune disorders, such as multiple sclerosis and rheumatoid arthritis. Some toxins may have application in dermatology, cancer treatment, and as anti-malarial drugs. They're very common in India and Nepal, where stings from this species is unfortunately not uncommon. While the scorpions themselves are not aggressive, they will sting when stepped on or otherwise threatened. The good news is that their stings are rarely fatal to adults, but children are far more at risk. Number 5. The Cassowary The only bird that made it to this list, but quite fittingly, as it's considered to be the most dangerous bird in the world. Considering the size, cassowaries are second to only ostriches. However, cassowary attacks are more deadly than ostrich. If provoked, they become extremely aggressive and attack viciously, using their powerful clawed legs as their primary weapons. Think of the velociraptors from Jurassic Park, and that's a pretty good descriptor right there. With only one blow using these claws, they can break human bones. They charge and kick and sometimes jump on top of their victims as well. Unlike emus, and yes, I'm actually surprised to learn that emus also attack people, which reputedly can only kick backwards, cassowaries can kick forward and downward. They may also peck and headbutt you, but needless to say, these attacks can cause a variety of injuries, the most common of which include puncture wounds, lacerations, and bone fractures. When being attacked by a cassowary, you should never, ever turn your back to it or crouch down in a prone position. That's when the most serious injuries happen. Rather, you should stand your ground and look as menacing as you possibly can, and hope that it's enough to intimidate the charging bird. Number 4. The African Crested Rat Never heard of this animal before? Well, actually, neither have I until I started making this video. And that's rare. I've done a lot of these videos. Here's an animal that's so dangerous that even touching it could spell disaster because it's extremely poisonous. However, unlike the slow loris, it doesn't produce its own toxin, but rather chews up the bark of toxic trees and then lathers its now toxic saliva all over its fur. When a predator approaches, the rat flashes a warning. It flares long white hairs on its otherwise black flanks, and it arches its back and hisses. If all that doesn't deter the predator and it eats the rat, the diner becomes uncoordinated, froths at the mouth, and sometimes even dies. There was a reported incident involving a dog who almost died after biting an African crested rat. Thankfully, it did survive, but the dog would quiver in fear the next time it saw such a rat. Such a near-death experience can prove a remarkably effective predator deterrent. Number 3. The Poison Dart Frog We've been over this one quite a few times, but here's a refresher course for your new ones here. Poison dart frogs are among the most colorful creatures on Earth. They live in tropical forests of Central and South America, and there are a hundred different types of poison dart frogs in total. And depending on where they live, they can come in different colors, including blue, green, black, red, yellow, or even gold. Their striking colorations are actually a warning for predators, kind of like huge neon signs saying, don't eat me, I'm poisonous, you're gonna die. Now, the level of poison varies between the different species of poison dart frogs, with the golden poison dart being the deadliest of them all. One single frog carries enough poison to permanently incapacitate a number of full-grown men. And because they're just so poisonous, some people have found a very good use for them. The tribal people of Panama and Colombia use the strong venom of poison dart frogs as the tip of their arrows for hunting. They're actually so poisonous that only one other creature is able to predate on them. That would be the Limadolphus epiphyllus, which is a special species of snake that is completely immune to poison dart frog venom, and thus can feast on them happily. Now it's time for the day's best pick. So if you do happen to find something like this on the internet and want to know more about it, send it on over to us and we'll look into it for you. Who knows, we might even feature it in a future video. With that said, number two, the giant weta. Endemic to New Zealand, giant wettas are enormous bugs that are related to crickets. The largest giant wettas can weigh in excess of 70 grams or about 2.5 ounces, making them among the heaviest insects in the world. Obviously, being as heavy as a mouse can only mean one thing, though, that being they can't fly. And although it looks like a cricket that spent too much time in the gym, it can't jump as well. They're quite long, too, with bodies measuring at about 4 inches, not including the legs and antennae. Aside from being absolutely huge, giant wettas also have other characteristics setting apart from other insects. For one, they breathe through their exoskeleton. They also happen to have their ears on their knees. Also, despite their fearsome appearance, they aren't dangerous at all. In fact, we're more of a danger to them than they are to us. And since they're only found on islands, they're highly susceptible to extinction. 
In fact, New Zealand's giant weta population is currently in a steep decline, landing these insects into the endangered species list, primarily due to predation by rats. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Pufferfish Another returning entry, pufferfish get their name from their ability to inflate to a much larger size when threatened by predators. However, they're more widely known for being one of the most dangerous fishes in the world. Not because they're vicious predators or aggressive, but for the deadly toxin that lays as almost every part of its body. The liver, the ovaries, the eyes, and the skin of most species of pufferfish contain tetrodotoxin, a potent neurotoxin. A predator that manages to snag a puffer before it inflates won't feel lucky for long. Almost all pufferfish contain tetrodotoxin, and it makes them foul-tasting and often lethal to fish. To humans, though, tetrodotoxin is deadly, up to 1,200 more times more poisonous than cyanide. There's actually enough toxin in one pufferfish to kill 30 adult humans, and there is no known antidote. Amazingly, though, the meat of some pufferfish is considered a delicacy. Called fugu in Japan, it's extremely expensive and only prepared by trained, licensed chefs who know that one bad cut means almost certain death for a customer. While they may be well-trained, many deaths do occur annually. Have you encountered any of these dangerous animals? Let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.